Can Ripple lose in the SEC v. Ripple Labs case concerning whether or not the digital asset XRP was sold as an unregistered security? I'm going to talk you through three potential scenarios where Ripple wins, Ripple loses, and a surprise scenario. Now, I'm not an attorney and I'm not a financial advisor, so make sure you do your own research. Let's get into it. So scenario one is going to be Ripple winning at summary judgment. In order for that to happen, the judge would have to agree that there's no post-sale obligations. Now, when you buy a share of Microsoft stock, the company Microsoft has a duty to make sure that everything they do is at the interest of making you a profit in the future. In this case, Ripple did not do that. The XRP ledger was incepted well before then. We also see that there were amicus briefs supporting XRP's consumptive purposes as this last phase of the court case presses on. We saw all kinds of private companies talk about how they use XRP for non-investment purposes, and even Coinbase threw their hat in the ring at the last moment, talking about how important it is that we don't automatically classify digital assets as securities when there is a utility case that can absolutely supersede anybody's potential investment in an asset. We would also have to see the SEC struggle to define a clear common enterprise, and that would be all investors' assets pooled together and all investors equally share their risks and rewards. Now, you can buy XRP at all different prices, and no matter what price you buy it at, that's not going to be indicative of Ripple's actions, right? I could buy XRP at 30 cents, you could buy it at 60 cents. My selling of my assets and your selling of your assets have nothing to do with one another. We also know that the XRP was functional prior to Ripple's inception, right? David Swartz, Arthur Brito, and Jed McCaleb came together and made the XRP ledger well before Ripple's inception. And of course, XRP price moves with the crypto market, not Ripple's efforts, right? Although we see all kinds of great utility with the digital asset XRP right now, we know that its price is still connected to the price of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, all of those big coins all move together with the crypto market as a risk on asset, showing that they're not connected to Ripple's efforts. So that would be scenario one. Scenario two is that Ripple loses, but don't panic. There is still a silver lining here. So Ripple losing here would mean that Judge Torres would motion to have the issue decided by an appellate court because, you know, this is a big decision. There are potentially political ramifications coming with making a very bold statement uh, as is required in this case. We would see that maybe Torres, uh, Judge Torres would agree with a clear common enterprise within 2013 to 2018 sales showing less consumptive purposes because those ODL products or on-demand liquidity products were as prevalent during those times. So there was less consumptive XRP spending during those times. So we could see early sales of XRP categorized as unregistered securities where later sales would not be. Again, we also have to remember that not all sales were made here in America. Some sales were made internationally, and those definitely do not count in this case. And many reference cases throughout all these briefs show that some assets can become securities over time and vice versa. An asset can start out as a security and then not become a security over time. So again, this isn't a binary win or lose situation where Ripple loses and then XRP is automatically a security. You could see a situation where Ripple pays a fine and maybe it's a large fine, maybe a few hundred million dollars. They're sitting on a billion dollars in cash right now uh, to pay for uh, disgorgements for those early sales of XRP. But the benefit is XRP potentially gets the classification as a commodity commodity for sales uh, moving past from 2018, right? So that would be beneficial. So even though we have scenario two as Ripple losing, uh, that could still be a combination where there's a settlement and agreement uh, that moving forward, there's a uh, clarification on what XRP actually is. And then scenario three would be a surprise ruling. Ripple's fair notice fence may warrant a jury trial where the jury makes the decision instead of Judge Torres. And this is really what Ripple wants because it's going to be a lot more apt for a jury to decide uh, based on all the evidence that the SEC did not give clear notice that that most investors, because they're putting you know themselves in the, in the shoes of an investor, that they didn't buy this necessarily as an investment product as most investors hadn't even heard of the company Ripple. They just knew about the digital asset XRP and the utility of being able to send money to any corner of the world world in under five seconds for a fraction of a penny. That's very exciting, right? That's almost more revolutionary than Bitcoin, right? Although proof of work really was kind of set the way for cryptography, at least for retail sales. Now, in order for this to happen, we'd have to see Judge Netburn or Judge Torres find a factual dispute, and that would trigger this 
jury trial. Uh, and again, the SEC doesn't want to see that happen. They would rather see this move through summary judgment and they would rather battle it out there and fight through the appellate courts instead of having the jury decide because again, the jury is going to be the average person. Now, the drawback to this scenario is that that trial would not start most likely until the middle of this year, summer of 2023. So that means we'd have to wait a little bit longer. But this scenario is still a better scenario long term than scenario two where Ripple loses and then has to go through uh, you know, a settlement. And we kind of have still even some clarity for XRP, not clarity for the rest of the cryptocurrency market. Because again, remember this case impacts not just XRP. This will set precedent for hundreds, if not thousands of altcoins out there that are in the similar position to what Ripple's in right now, where XRP sits in this gray zone right now. So we can look to all these scenarios. We can always say we want number one, right? We'd rather see Ripple win all the way, but understand there are hybrid scenarios where Ripple could potentially lose in some scenarios and XRP could still gain clarity, okay? So Fear not, you can continue to hold your XRP. I personally have confidence that XRP will not be labeled as a security. And I do think that XRP will move with the rest of the market when we get into this bull run and reach somewhere between 13 and $21 per share. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Catch you next time.